In this video, you'll learn how to use the grid view's custom draw events. We'll start with a grid displaying plain task data. First, we'll use an event to customize the appearance of individual cells. Then the same event handler will be modified to alter display text in individual cells depending on grid data. We'll then extend the handler even further to draw images within specific cells. Finally, you'll see how to custom paint column headers while keeping their interactive elements such as filter drop-down buttons and sort glyphs. Let's start with an application that has a grid control displaying task data. Choose the grid view and handle the custom draw cell event. This event provides you with the row handle and column parameters that identify the cell being painted. If a cell is in the focused row, custom draw is not applied to ensure the focus style priority. In this first version of the event handler, change the background style of the unit price column cells whose values are greater than 30. The default painting mechanism will be invoked after event handler execution, and it will automatically apply the specified background. Let's run the application to see the result. As you can see, cells that conform to the specified condition have a different appearance, and in that way, custom draw events allow you to implement conditional formatting of any complexity. Let's close the application and further modify the custom draw event handler. Change the event's display text parameter if a cell resides within a row that has a discount assigned. The specified text will also be painted by the default rendering mechanism. Let's run the application again. Notice that certain column cells display discounted price instead of unit price. In essence, this allows you to do what you could do using unbound column expressions and display text formatting. But with custom draw events, you can apply these changes to individual cells rather than entire columns. Now let's draw custom images over the default rendering for cells containing discount prices. I'll paint a custom image using the draw image method of the events graphics parameter. To invoke the default rendering mechanism prior to this, I call the default draw method. This method prevents default painting from being re-invoked after event execution. And let's run the application. Custom images are displayed for certain cells. Now let's custom paint column headers. Subscribe to the custom draw column header event. Use the gradient from salmon to white to fill the background of column headers, and after that, display header captions. Set the event's handled parameter to true to prevent the default painting mechanism from being invoked when the event handler is completed. Now let's run the application. Column headers are painted with the salmon to white gradient. However, the usual sort and filter glyphs are not displayed. There is a way to fix this and display standard interactive elements within column headers. You need to enumerate the inner elements collection and use a specially designed method to paint them, if their settings indicate that they are currently visible. And let's run the application again to see the result. Now the headers have custom appearance while keeping the standard elements so end users can still interact with column headers in the usual manner. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Thank <laughs> you.